Numerical Methods Problem 11.27 As described in Section PT 3.1.2, linear algebraic equations can arise in the solution of differential equations. For example, the following differential equation results from a steady state mass balance for a chemical in a one-dimensional canal. 0 equals d times d of c over d of x squared minus u times d of c over d of x minus k of c, where c is the concentration, t is equal to time, x is equal to distance, d is equal to diffusion coefficient, u equals fluid velocity, and k equals a first order decay rate. Convert this differential equation to an equivalent system of simultaneous algebraic equations. Given d equals 2, u equals 1, k equals 0.2, c at 0 equals 80, and c at 10 equals 20. Solve these equations from x equals to 0 to 10 with delta x equal to 2. Develop a plot of a concentration versus distance graph. So here are our variables given to us by our problem, except for instead of using a delta of 2, we're using a delta of 1 to simplify this problem. So the first thing we do is we must expand out the derivatives, as noted here, we take the first derivative of dc over dx, expand that out, and we do the same with the second derivative of dc dx, expand that out. The next thing we must do is to simplify And since we're using the delta of x, our equations get simplified, and we can ignore the denominators. Notice our change from here to here, and our change from here to here. So now that we've simplified our equations, we must set them up with respect to C, or the concentration, and our concentration over time. So, here's our equations all set up. found from these equations by putting in our different x values. And then our next step is to reorganize all of these equations so that we have the like c values or c of x values together. Notice that we have c of 2 c of 2, and then c of 1, c of 1, and then c of 0, all grouped together. This is just to simplify the problem so we can put it into our A matrix down below. So basically, you're going to take out, you're going to factor out all of the c's from these equations so that you can set up your matrix down below. Notice the first line, we have D minus U at position 2. So we put a D minus U at position 2. And then we have a U minus two times D at position 1. 
So we put that at position 1. And then we know what d sub 0 is equal to. So we will put that into our B matrix over here. And then we simply set up the remaining rows in the same fashion until we create our entire matrix. And then to solve the problem, we simply do a backslash B to find our C's or our concentration values. And then simply down here I'm just displaying the A matrix, the B matrix, and then our results for the concentration values. And then here is a plot because the question asked us to plot up the uh, the plot of concentration versus distance and just plot C will give us that so let's run it up as you can see here's our A matrix here is our B matrix with the two given values from the problem. And here's the coinciding C matrix or the values that we needed, the concentration values that we found by solving the matrices. And here is the graph that we also needed for the problem. And that's it for problem 11.27.